Well, well. Someone we know? Mr. and Mrs. Colton Shaw. Hi, how are you? Good. 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 How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, and your other half? My other half was here briefly. But I'm used to it. I usually have dinner alone. He comes, he goes, so mostly goes. Would you care to join me for some champagne? I have plenty. Uh, uh, that's very nice, actually, but um, we have some catching up to do. You know. Oh, <laughs> nearly went, yes, of course. <laughs> well, I uh, just sit here and think about my next husband. I've decided that he's going to be very rich, of course, but retired. I don't even care if he's over 50. The way I feel right now, I would prefer it, but I don't really care. <laughs> He'll be back. And for his sake, I hope he shall. Listen, if uh, for some unforeseen reason he doesn't make it back, just join us for dinner, okay? That's very sweet. No, thank you. I appreciate it, but no. All right, well, change your mind. The offer still stands. We're ready. Cheers. 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 Would you please send over your best bottle of champagne to that attractive young couple over there? Compliments of Mr. Nicholas Van Buren. Certainly, sir. Thank you. Um, what would you like? Um, just a glass of white wine. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We'll have the same. Certainly. Thanks. That must be tough on the wives. What? Huh? Well, you know, women that are... Married to guys involved in the W.S. Mm. It's impossible. Yeah, well, I guess you would know about that, wouldn't you? We're going to get through this. All right. It's not that. It was, it's a dumb thing to say. I'm sorry I brought it up. Let's just forget it. Mm -hmm. What is it, honey? I should have told you when we were at the apartment. What? I know that you had high hopes for this evening, and I didn't want to spoil it, but... I mean, you had high hopes, too? I know. What happened? I saw Frisco a little while ago. Mm. It was by accident. I ran into him by accident. Where? It was at the hospital. He was coming out of Tony's room as I was going in. I... Uh, he was dressed as a surgeon, and when I saw him, I said some really awful things to him, but I meant it because he's putting Tony's life in jeopardy all over again. So what did he say? Well, he didn't really have time to say anything. I just sort of blew up in front of his face and ran out. Okay. The trouble is, I... Oh, never mind. We shouldn't be talking about this right now. No, no, let's, let's talk about it. If it's bothering you, I want to know about it. Well, I can understand, you know, him wanting to see Tony. They, they used to be very close, you know, they're very close brothers, the closest brothers I've ever known. I just, I just got to shake this off. I just have to shock to see him at the hospital. Yes, I think you, you should shake it off. I mean, we both, let's clear our heads of everything, okay? Let's just concentrate on us. It's the only way we're going to enjoy ourselves this evening. All right? We didn't order champagne. We had uh, white wine. Oh, no, it's compliments of Mr. Uh, Nicholas Van Buren, sir. What? He's here tonight? Uh, yes, sir. He's seated at the bar table. Oh, don't bother opening that. Uh, I'm sending it back. I'm not taking anything from that uh, guy. Just accept it. We'll drink it and forget about it. Look, I don't want the damn champagne. I'm going to forget about first go. Let's just forget it. How can I forget about it? How can we have a good condition? evening? Okay. Okay. We'll forget about him and forget about first go. Surprises anyone to find out you were still alive. WSB had our international search going on for months. We thought you were dead. You made a mistake, didn't you? Frisco. Frisco. Look, I'm 
let you go. Huh? Can I? Frisco, you need his help. Talk to him. Talk to him. I don't need his help or anyone else. This is dumb. You can't do this alone, man. You can't. Look, I know you were the one who broke into my penthouse and stole all our electronic equipment. It's not enough. enough. You need more help than that. I'm doing just fine. You're doing great so far. Listen, we've, we've followed up on your lead when you told us about that Caribbean terrorist camp, but we moved in too late. The place was deserted. You and your whole organization are worthless. What did you do about the coded information I sent for months? For months I sent it. We didn't put the pieces together soon enough. Wasn't that obvious? You could have had that camp turned upside down. You'd have enough information on Domino to hang him by now. So what do you want? Huh? You want a pat on the back for picking up the tips too late? No. Well, then what the hell are you doing here? I had hoped to start with an apology. But that would be a waste of time, I can see that. You got that right. Mr. Sean is right. You need us. No, I don't. Frisco, it's suicide to try this by yourself. I'll do it the way I want to do it. All right. Okay. The simple truth is, we need you to help us nail Domino for once and all. We want you back in our ranks. I'd like you to take this. Caribbean campsite? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, we've managed to dismantle the camp and save almost all of the equipment so there's no loss there. We're totally covered. Wow. What I've got in mind is... Damn. With the uh, tanker that's in the port, Charles mm -hmm. Harbor, that's now in my possession, all right, mm -hmm. we can take that to Manitoba, mm -hmm. pick up supplies, men, and uh, we can certainly transport all of that to South America. The only thing is, the WSB is not alert now, so we're going to have to be very careful from here on out. Actually, the only agent that I ever was concerned about was Frisco Jones, unfortunately. He's no longer with us. 